Hey everyone, welcome back to the local lab. Today, we're going to be using Uba Booga's Text Generation Web UI, an incredibly versatile tool that makes running powerful open source AI language models easy right on your computer for free. A quick disclaimer before we start. This video is actually an updated version of a tutorial I made a while back. I'm taking the old one down because, well, let's just say the quality wasn't quite up to my current standards. This time, you're getting a crisper, cleaner, and more in-depth guide. Text Generation Web UI is an OG in the open source text generation scene, being one of the first web UIs many people use to start their AI journey, and it comes stocked with an array of useful features. We're talking multiple backends for text generation like Transformers, Llama.cpp, and Xlama v2. You get an OpenAI compatible API server, automatic prompt formatting, different chat modes for both casual and instruction-based conversations, and even Laura fine-tuning to personalize your models. Now, you might be thinking, hold on, don't I need a supercomputer to run these AI models? That's where the magic comes in. Thanks to Google Colab, you can access their T4 16GB VRAM GPUs for free and run these models in your browser, no matter what kind of computer you have. I crafted a simple collab for this repo that will get you up and running in just three lines of code. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on more awesome AI content. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, consider subbing to my Patreon. There you'll find exclusive custom workflows easy to use comfy UI one-click installers, and most notably, access to my newly created custom Flux Loris Discord bot. Simply provide your prompt, select the Loris you want to apply, use an enhanced prompt from our LLM prompt enhancer, and let it generate. We'll be adding more bots and Loris in the near future, so stay tuned. You can also join my YouTube members community to enjoy the same benefits. All right, let's jump into Google Collab and set everything up. Head over to my GitHub repo by clicking on the link down in the description and click on the simple Kylab link further down the page. This will open up the notebook in your browser where we can begin installing the project. Next, make sure you're signed into your Google account as it is needed to run Collab notebooks. Once you're signed in, connect to a Collab runtime. It's crucial that you enable the T4 GPU in the notebook settings. This will give you the power you need to run these models. If you have a Collab Pro account, you have even more options. You can choose from different GPUs to potentially run even larger and more complex models. The actual setup is unbelievably easy. In the Collab Notebook, you'll see four code modules. Each module comes with a clear explanation, so you understand what each line of code is doing. Simply click the play button next to each module, starting from the top and working your way down. The first module clones the Uba Booga repository, the second imports the necessary Python module. The third installs all the required dependencies. The final module fires up the text generation web UI interface and provides you with a public link to access it. Now a couple of seconds into the installation, the process will pause and ask you which GPU you want to run. Just type in the A for NVIDIA and click enter. And for the next question about whether you want to use Python 11.8, just simply type in and press enter. The rest of the dependencies will finish installing, and once that's complete, a Gradio share link should appear in the terminal. Click the link in the terminal which will take you to the text generation web UI webpage. And that's it. You're in. That entire setup took just three lines of code to execute. Now for the fun part, picking your AI model. Head on over to Hugging Face to pick your model. You'll find a huge range of models to choose from, so you'll likely find something that suits your needs. Just make sure it's compatible with your Collab runtime resources and is supported by the Uba Booga Web UI. For this demo, I'll be loading in the newly released Llama 3.2 3B model with Xlama 12-bit quantization which will run mainly on GPU. Once you have found the model you want, copy the model name and head back to the Uba Booga Web UI. Paste the name into the model downloader. When downloading Xlama models, Make sure to include the branch name for the bit quantization you selected. Since I will be using the 8-bit quantized models, I will add the colon symbol followed by the branch name 8 underscore 0. Once you have that, 
click the download button and the UI will begin downloading the model. If you like, you can keep an eye on the download progress in the Collab Notebook. A quick tip, the free version of Collab erases your session data when the runtime ends. So, if you're working on something important, make sure to save it to your Google Drive before closing your session. Once the model finishes downloading, we need to load it. When loading XLAMA models, ensure that you are using the XLAMA V2 HF model loader setting. Also, enable 8-bit caching and disable flash attention. After setting these options, click the Load button in the top menu to load the model. You'll see a confirmation message once it's loaded successfully. Before we begin chatting with the model, let's adjust some parameters to ensure it uses the correct configuration for instruction-based chats and avoids generating nonsensical responses. Navigate to the Parameters tab, open the Instruction Template tab, and select Llama V3 from the drop-down menu. This is a preset template for Llama 3 models. Next, go to the Generation tab and select the Llama Precise Configuration preset, which I find to be one of the best options for instruction-based models. Now we are ready to chat with the model. Head to the Chat tab in the Web UI and type in your prompt. You can always revisit the parameter settings and experiment with them to find the ideal configuration for your chat model. And there you have it. You're ready to start generating. Write your prompt, hit generate, and watch the magic happen. Don't forget to explore the other features and settings in UbaBooga's web UI. You can experiment with different chat modes, adjust generation parameters, and fine tune your models for even more personalized results. The possibilities are endless. That's all for this updated tutorial. I hope this gives you the tools and confidence to start exploring the amazing world of open source AI text generation. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more AI deep dives, and share it with your friends. Happy generating, and I'll see you in the next video.